welcome to math tutor channel this channel contains videos for ncert mathematics from class 6 to 12 so after seeing the video if you have any doubts you can contact the mail id given at the end if you want math tuition also you can contact the mail id and get the details in this video we will see ncert mathematics class 11 first chapter sets next topic is 1.8 venn diagram so this diagram will give the relationship between your sets consider this universal set 1 2 3 up to 10 let a equal to 2 comma 5 comma 6 so a is a subset of u because 2 5 and 6 is a part of a universal set in the venn diagram we will represent universal set using a rectangle like this in that set a is a circle and i have represented 1 2 3 4 all the universal set numbers inside the universal set in that 2 5 1 6 6 are inside the circle that is set a so this set a is a part of universal set Similarly, consider one more example where universal set is there: a equal to five comma six and b equal to two. Here, in this example, we have two sets a and b. A is a subset of universal set, and b is also a subset of universal set. Next, one point nine point one. First property is union of the set. So normally, we will represent union by this letter u union means we have to combine and write all the elements of a and all the elements of b without any repetition that is it is together the element of a and b so here a venn diagram is shown where the element of a and the element of b is all marked with colors to show the difference from the universal set some of the properties of the operation of universal set is commutative property a union b is equal to b union a associative property is a union b union c is equal to a union b union c third property is identity a union a null set will be equal to a because null set will not contain any element so a union null set will be equal to a a union a so again a because all the elements of a and elements of a again taking union between them will be idempotent law universal set union a so this will obviously universal set union of a is all this all the elements of uh, universal set will come as a result so it is called as law of universal set so consider an example for this let a equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 and b equal to 3 comma 4 comma 5 then a union b will be 1 comma 2 comma 3 is repeated in both the things so don't repeat it so 3 comma 4 comma 5 this is a union b One point nine point two is intersection of sets. Intersection means whatever elements is common in both A and B, you have to take and write it. So A intersection B is a common between these two sets. Here also it is represented by inverted form of U, and it also obeys commutative property, associative property, and law of null and universe and distributive property and idempotent law. so first property is a intersection b is equal to b intersection a a intersection b of intersection c is equal to a intersection of b intersection c associative law third one is null set intersection a is equal to null set will not contain any element so that is the intersection with the a is so obviously it is equal to a null set universal set intersection a is the common between universal and a is a so it is equal to a A intersection A is A. It is idempotent law. 
distribution is a intersection of b union c is equal to a intersection b union a intersection c similarly you can write it on the vice versa form a union of b intersection c will be equal to a union b intersection a union c next one is disjoint set if there is no element common to both the uh, set then we call it as a disjoint set obviously it will be equal to a null set example 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 8 b equal to 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7 so this these are all even numbers these are all odd numbers so there is no common element between these two so it is called as a disjoint set so in the venn diagram can you see a is separately drawn b is separately drawn there is no combination between common elements between these two elements so it is a disjoint set 1.9.3 difference of the set a difference b means you have to check the elements of a with the elements of b whichever elements in a is not present in b we have to take it and write it so that we call it as a a difference b consider a equal to 1 2 3 and b equal to 3 4 5 here a difference b will be 1 comma 2 because 1 comma 2 is not present in b Again B difference A will be 3 is present in A but 4 and 5 is missing so 4 comma 5. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt you can contact the mail ID mentioned this video in mathtutor1502 at gmail.com. If you want math tuition you can also contact the same mail ID. The tuition will be taken in two languages. One is Tamil and the other one is English. Thank you all.